What is up guys, it's Soulbash and welcome back. We are going to take a look at some heroes in Strike of Kings. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about this game, when's it coming out and everything. I don't know yet, but as soon as I do know, you will know. So let's start out with the very first one, Belhain, the demon hunter. Pretty amazing looking and he has skins as well. So. We'll go through some of the skins, but some of them already have quite a few skins. Uh, that one you get from like a couple days in. And they have this one right here, which is freaking amazing looking. The Techno Templar. That is just amazing. All right, moving on to the next one, Thane. Of course, you all know Thane if you've seen my Thane video. Uh, he's a pretty amazing tank. Uh, let's see what's next. Toro. Do have a Toro build and guide coming up soon. Pretty awesome looking. And they also have this one right here. Getting ready to beat somebody down. No gun though, so he's still a tank. All right, we have Vera, the Soul Harvester. She is quite stunning. And she also has a Snow Festival outfit, which is pretty wicked as well. So you can have their either have the uh, dark scene or uh, the frozen kind of looking chick we shall fight together on the battle all right Xanus the dragoon this guy is a beast uh, he kind of reminds me of Yun Zhao a little bit but he would justice. probably destroy Yun Zhao he is amazing all right Mina the Reaper Queen this chick is crazy uh, pretty much uh, this is uh, Ruby, if you've uh, ever played Mobile Legends, yeah, that this pretty much sums her up right there. She's been out in it for a while. Got another skin for her there. Sporting the white. That's pretty dope. All right, let's move on to the next one. Mganga. Uh, it's really weird to say. Yes, I know. If I pronounce it wrong, I probably did. But that's his Joker. Don't perform human That's pretty cool. The Fright said. Circus. It's crimes against humanity, they said. These skins look so amazing. Alright, moving on. Of limitless. course, the great warlord Lubu. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually seen him in a game or a mobile MOBA. So it's nice to see him back in one again. With great hammers, come great we have the great hammer storm Tara. She's pretty wicked looking. It looks like a pretty much a chick rendition of kind of like the Lich King, I guess. It's pretty amazing. The underworld. Necroth, Judgment's stopped. Blade. Now this dude is pretty awesome. He will kill the crap out of you. He's an assassin. And uh, yeah, uh, I've talked with Rumbly about him and he does have a skin you as well. Kind of the uh, gold and blue kind of look, which is pretty amazing on him, I do say. They did a very good job at that one. Sharp knife. All right, moving on to Butterfly. We have the Death Whisperer. Uh, kind of reminds me of Attack on Titan a little Kill bit. Everyone. Maybe a Fanny type, if you would, uh, if, if you uh, know the reference. We have Omega, the Awoken Mech. Now. He is going to probably have some pretty amazing skins as well, but his base skin is actually pretty good. Uh, he's quick to run somebody down. And the sun god. We have Yorn the Hotshot. We did a video on him about a week or so back. Got a Goku looking archer. Pretty awesome looking. All the Gilder. All right, this guy will stun the crap out of you. He's a tank type. He doesn't really seem like or think he would be. And when you see him in game, you'd think he'd be like a mage or something like that. But he's a uh, control and charge. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Do you need a friend? Alice, the only control buff type in the game so far. So pretty much this is the only support type hero. And it's more of a buff kind of shield that she gives <laughs> instead of actual kills. As far as I know. Now, I have not played everybody in the game. I haven't went over all their skills yet. Uh, stuff we will be doing in the future. So, uh, look forward to those. Violet, the pistol assassin. Now, I have uh, been in several matches with her. She has a nice skin as well. 
looking forward to being able to get this uh, I think it is a uh, almost kind of like a mix between uh, Clint and Layla if you played ML you have Dao Chen the crystal lotus uh, she is a mage basic skin on her for the second one as well we have Crixie all right the Nymphora uh, this chick will uh, eat your face off so yeah don't don't let her looks deceive you she is like really really mean her magic damage is very powerful so do be aware of that when that comes out she's pretty amazing all right Kali the aspect of vengeance this chick will shoot you down pretty quick I can tell you uh, if you've ever played like Vainglory or anything similar to that the uh, Vainglory character like Sky it has the missiles that shoot out one right after another she has that as like an ultimate it's pretty awesome Grok this guy is a beast pretty much uh, ML Franco guys um, Roadhog whatever you want to call him he's got a uh, snow sickle skin which is pretty awesome he can look uh, cute and still hook you, but you notice it's just, uh, it looks like he just peeled a, uh, a polar bear's face off and just is kind of wearing it, you know? Yeah, he's a beast. Ah, sweet, Alistair, sweet another mage. Pretty amazing looking to begin with. He has no skins yet. He's a newer character, I believe. The shifting and Azenka. Another mage, he is one of the older ones that's been in the game uh, for several months while they've been <clears throat> while they've been developing it and uh, yeah it's uh, it's really nice skin. I haven't really used him a whole lot though. Ormar the Berserker is a warrior control charger so you expect him to have some types of slows and stuns and uh, be able to take a lot of damage. Chognar. This guy is a pure tank. He is ready to go. Look at his poise and skill damage. He is a beast when it comes to getting in there and staying alive. And he has an awesome looking skin. Check this out. That is wicked. They have went above and beyond to make some of these so much better looking. Catch me if you can. Fennec, the new archer that is coming out soon. Uh, it's kind of silly looking, but uh, I'm hoping this guy is going to be pretty fun. Uh, there's been a, a not very many marksmen in the game, so that was going to be an awesome new addition. And we have Lumber, the Elemental. This guy's going to be a tank control buff type. So this is another buff type. Um, this one's newer to me. I have not really seen him yet in the uh, game, in any gameplay. So it'll be interesting to uh, try him out and see what he's capable Come of doing. On, Thanatos. Zephyrus. This guy is a warrior, and his specialty is charger. And I can tell you, charging is what he is good at. This guy could be built actually two different ways. Uh, a lot like most of these characters, you can build depending on the type. No, this guy could be a tank or he could be an assassin. So depending on what type of gear you go in this game is uh, actually how you can end up in the outcome. Amazing looking skin right here. And that is Zephyrus. And that's pretty much it for all the characters in the game, guys. Um, if you have any questions about this game, I know everybody wants to know when it's coming out. I don't know exactly when it's coming out yet. Uh, things should be picking back up here in about a week. And hopefully early spring, this thing's going to be dropping. Um, that's only speculation. But as is now... Um, I'm going to bring you some more information on the heroes and uh, we're going to start doing some like builds and trying to get ahead on the game, you know, see what we can't get done with this game and uh, see what we can't find out. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.